press long before I even wrote it. Are you not the all-knowing and the all-wise? Well, of course you are. Nevertheless, Jehovah, I'm going to send this letter out to you. You see, Jesus, I know not what to believe. Some say if I'm not Christian, then I will never see you. The kingdom of heaven, or should I say the promised land? Say, hold up. Watch out for that cat, Brother D. He once walked with Farrakhan. He may still be a heathen. I mean, either way it goes, Lord, I don't know. You see, history and tradition in this time have been written and dictated by my father. Regardless, still, Pops, I feel it's all the same. So, Yahweh, may I ask you the reason for my pain? You see, I was born in this world, Pops, and I had no choice. A descendant of slaves, a soul with no voice. I mean, what did my people do to receive such a fate? No life without struggle? Hmm. What lies would you take? I mean, we must have taken millions and enslaved even more. Why else would our God leave us on these hellish shores? But my research, see, has not revealed such truths. For my people since Cush have worshipped through his youths. We've been a peaceful and obedient people, fearful of them. So my question again, Almighty God of law, what did my people do? I mean, what did we do to be stripped of our names? What well, sin was so great that you made us all slaves? I mean, why indeed, Father, did you deliver us to the belly of the beast? Hey, yo, Pops, I need some answers, man, because I can't find peace. You know, the slave ship was named Jesus. And then they said that was your only begotten son. Picture that. I mean, why does it seem you stand idle while Satan has his fun? I mean, am I committing blasphemy because they say that you're the reason we're free? I mean, surely we survived slavery and a whole lot more. But was it not written in the good book that you would not ignore? The children of Israel to whom you gave the covenant, stop. There are many things. There are many questions. Scripture may in fact be history or maybe prophecy. But there's only one group of people in the entire world that were taken from a foreign land and slaved for over 400 years in a foreign land. And that would be the black man and the black woman of the United States of America, K, 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 but we are your lost sheep. Now continue. So if that be the case, Pops, can you please explain this? I'm talking about the murdering of our people, the bludgeoning of our souls, the rape of our women, the survivors turning to holes, the breakdown of the black man and destruction of the black family. And hey, your pops, I'm talking about the Tuskegee experiment, cocaine, and HIV. And on top of that, how about the miseducation of all those that might even slightly resemble me? Are we praising the wrong father? Have we been fooled? Have you abandoned us, Almighty God? For sure that we haven't abandoned you. You see, throughout all our trials and still more tribulations, you see, we give glory to God, void of hesitation. Allahu Akbar, hallelujah. But still we are wrongfully imprisoned, murdered and brainwashed. All respect due to my brother who's a Jew, but it's 2022 and I'm living a black man's holocaust. Fault, I need some answers and I need a quick because it's burning on my back. Got your baby boy sick. Oh, 